Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back in- wait, hold on. Can we take a moment to appreciate this menu music? Like, what? Final Fantasy music always goes so hard. But okay, guys, welcome in. If you are new here, welcome in as well. And if you're not, welcome back in for a new game. I'm so excited. Final Fantasy 16. All right, let's talk about this real quick. If you guys have been here before, then you realize that the first Final Fantasy I've ever played was like two months ago. FF7, the remake, part one, baby. We just completed it maybe about a few weeks ago. I had to take a quick break between to play something else um, because I really didn't want to bring too much comparison from 7 into 16. I find that I now know that the Final Fantasies don't relate to one um, to one another at all. Like they're very independent. They're their own story. It's its own combat um, style, everything. It's all a little bit different between each story. So I think it was good I took a mini break between them so that I'm not it's gonna be hard, like I will say, break or not, it's still gonna be really difficult for me because my only experience with Final Fantasy is recent and is also from Final Fantasy VII. It's gonna be really hard for me not to kind of pull similarities or maybe mention that I preferred this in Seven to this or vice versa, right? But I do want to say I know nothing about this game. I didn't even watch a trailer. No, I think I, think I saw like one of the trailers at the Xbox showcase maybe was it or the PlayStation it had to have been the PlayStation showcase yes I saw a trailer there and I knew right away aesthetically it is so me I love like you guys know I came from a souls background um so that was kind of like the first games that I played and streamed on Twitch and everything so I have a Dark Souls background and personally I just love fantasy I am getting into space right now I'm doing Mass Effect on Twitch but I absolutely love fantasy games, I love fantasy books and everything, so take fantasy and Final Fantasy. Okay, there's fantasy in the title. You guys know what I mean. The point is, this aesthetic is totally me. I love Final Fantasy VII. It's probably my number one game from this year until I complete it. Look, this has been a hard year. I've played Witcher 3 for the first time, Mass Effect, and Final Fantasy VII, so it's gonna be really hard to pick my favorite, but <laughs> I absolutely loved playing Final Fantasy VII, and so I'm really looking forward to adding another FF under my belt, and I continue to want to play even more after this, and we'll just see what happens, but I know this is gonna be a long haul. I just want to set your expectations. I'm the kind of person that, no, I'm not gonna capture everything, I don't look up anything ahead of time. Um, so that's why sometimes the breaks in the episodes and everything will be a little bit different um, or maybe ill-timed as you guys have told me in the past. But for me, I just always want the most organic first playthrough possible. All right, so with that, I look at the comment section, but please be super mindful of tips or of spoilers specifically. I'm always open to hearing tips or tricks, especially because I will say the Final Fantasy combat is not something that I am attuned to at all. Um, I got used to it and I feel like I did take it on during my seven playthrough recently, but I know that 16 is probably gonna be different on its own. So with that, I look forward to playing this with you guys. I plan to do side quests to do all of it. So buckle up buttercup, cause it's gonna be a while. So with that guys, as you guys always hear, let's start this game with an open heart and open mind and zero expectations. All right, cause when you have no expectations, it normally super it normally just makes it better okay all right <laughs> let's go and action okay i just want to make it clear hold on before you guys say anything it only says load game because i was testing out the volume that being said i'm still working around it but i love the game already because it didn't start at max volume okay it's a cruel thing to do that all right so i already messed with all of these before and then i think i put it on story focused um only because it says that i know that it says for players who are comfortable with action games which i am but i do want to see the difference with the story focused it, apparently you just get several accessories that simplify gameplay and i also well i guess they're going to give you a tutorial either way but i am pretty much more of a story focused kind of person but i do love some good combat okay y'all ready It was Moss the Chronicler who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation 
that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. And so the story begins. A phoenix? With like peacock feathers almost. Summon from FF7. See, I'm already starting it. It's like, oh, oh, fireball. It's like the Belrog and Gandalf fighting right now. All right, I have to evade if possible. Okay, gotcha. Launch them. See, when he tries to attack us, he's getting closer. Oh, evade, evade, evade. Nice. I'm tracking it's just a little loud right now, so I'll turn it down after this. Because I don't think I can right now, yeah. They threw you. Should have evaded. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Oh! was a total Lord of the Rings moment for me. Year of the Realm 873. That what? Look at the graphics. The graphics. Oh, the armor. Can you imagine the cosplays that will come out of this? Title logo. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. Shiva's dominant? Okay, they are. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. The mark to keep is their that kind. In mind. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's get this done. <laughs> kind of like a knight esque. He's brooding. How can you not like a brooding, shabby man? <laughs> Oh my gosh, the hair, the like peach fuzz. I love it. It's not even peach fuzz. It's really like a few days in. It's that perfect stubble. Gosh, look at the graphics. So if Shiva, was that actually the character from the summons? Maybe the summons are related to- Focus, Wyvern. Or go between them all? You are key to this mission's success. Wyvern. Interesting name. Yes, Sergeant. Love the smooth transition into playing as him. I said focus, Wyvern. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Wait, so he's calling me Wyvern, but to move Clive. But I am Clive, but he's calling me Wyvern. The main menu. All right. Press it at any time. Uh, add a cutscene to open the main menu. Oh, hold up. All right. Gameplay configuration settings, including camera. So a lot of times I'll just run through these, even if I feel somewhat familiar with it. Um, 
main menu system. Gotcha, system tab. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, let me just roll over to the sound real quick. And I think we're just gonna wanna put the effects down a smidge. And then I think it would just got really loud there for the music. So I'm gonna pop that down to 90 as well. But I think everything else is pretty good. Maybe 92. All right. We don't have time for this. All hell is about to break loose. Okay, I know all hell is about to break loose, but I have to look at the environment. It's amazing. Just from my short experience with FF, the level of detail they put into the smallest pathways that you might never see again and scenes is incredible. All right, I should be able to run fast possibly. Not yet. Time to move. Oh, there we go. To fully run. All right, so press down to fully sprint and then I can just kind of lightly run. Oh, we can jump. All right. Jumping. We've got camera angles changes. Just in time. It's a war breaking out. Oh. The Republican army front lines. Oh. Seems a little inconsistent. Beast the man. Why this is going, they won't need this new dominant of theirs. Dominant? What? I like the different looks of them. Like they all have a different hair kind of thing going with different facial hair. Ca the castle. Don't go that way. Zernitra? I'm probably not saying that right. Quickly! Move! What do you mean you refuse? <laughs> Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? Even the grandpas are looking pretty good. <laughs> Come on, Final Fantasy oh, always no. pulling out the best looking characters. Marshal, the king of Walud is our guest. Walud. Case in point. And you have his majesty's answer. That was an answer? <sighs> hmm. Suspicious. Just a lot of magic users. Is she freezing it? I wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you mm -hmm. so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? No. Besides... Your dominant has yet to take the field. All right, what are dominants? And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Look at his ring, by the way. Perhaps it's so glowing. you have not heard, but the oh. Iron Blood now have their own dominant. It's just his cigar. Ignore me. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? He's like, I got this. Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Oh. Oh. It's a power play. Oh. Insult to injury. Which just leaves me. Hoka! 
The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. He's so sure of himself? What if he just gets an arrow to the head or something? I don't know. I need to look up how long they took to make this game. You cock. <laughs> Sorry, what? Benedicta. <laughs> oh. <sighs> take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Oh. <laughs> or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little the frost, cheesy lion. Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. I have a feeling he's not coming home. Wait, I don't know. She seems kind of... I don't know if I trust her. Not that we know if she's going to be a lasting character, but... I don't know. The front lines are gone. Also, his jaw chance. lied. Did you guys see that? The chaos will conceal us. It can't be the only thing she likes about him. So we haven't decided which side we're on yet. Like, I can't tell exactly which side that we're helping. I can't imagine we're not going to be going against the stronghold itself. So I doubt that guy is coming home for his warmth after all. All right, so we did that. I'm trying to see like something. I'll mess with the sound settings between this episode and the next one. I love that we can jump up like that. I wonder what those are, like the ruins. It almost reminds me of being in Jotunheim with everything being so giant. Oh, can I climb just about anything? No. Is it faster to jump everywhere or to sprint? Ooh. That transition. Deadly, as always. <sighs> Take the van. The van. Wait. Something's not right. <laughs> oh. A titan? So the Darmax finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Look at his little cheeks! And there's Shiva. Right? Ha. And look who's here to Shiva. greet the bastard. Come on. So This is so cool. That's not good. She's like, all right, next thing I have. Oh no.
dashing? You don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move! I want to know why he keeps calling us Wyvern versus that. Hold on. I just need to pause for a second. I understand that during those cutscenes, it's really loud, but I just... Otherwise, when it's like the low points, I feel like it's kind of quiet. This is a movie. This is not a game. This is a movie. And I talked about this all the time in FF7. I felt like all the cutscenes were so well done from the camera angle and the shots that they take. It is a work of art. Hands down. I'm kind of not talking a lot just because I'm so stunned by how beautiful this is. Shiva. So what is our purpose to help her? Like, I wonder how we're going to be able to help her. If she's barely fighting off the giant, how are we supposed to? Oh! Is he gone? He can't be gone. Okay. Oh. Come on. It's like... Hop up. Oh, that is a stretch. I also like how they allow you to interact as him throughout this cutscene, so you don't feel like it's a straight cutscene. Who's gonna stand there? The immersion's top tier. <laughs> the slow mo. That's gonna leave a mark. Can you imagine the dust coming up right now in your eyes? I mean, they kind of showed it, but... <laughs> My eyes would be in tears from all this dust. No! Clive. Dude, that guy got smooshed. He's gotta be dead. Wyvern! Wyvern! Oh. The other guy's gone. I told you before, you do not get to die here. I feel like this was poor placement on our part. Um, oh. Brother. Brother. No. <laughs> yeah, maybe the... Get up, guys! <laughs> Oh, look at the baby Clive. Oh, he doesn't have the mark yet. But he does have something on his shoulder 13 summers earlier. Year of Realm. 13 summers. Rosalind? Maybe he was an apprentice or in training well, for if whatever. You're not cut out to be a shield. There's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. Oh. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right! Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. It's Don't Hugo, isn't now. it? Look at the pop! I'd recognize that voice anywhere. Two arms. Take him on. do to disappoint the gallery? I want to pay particular attention to the script and see how the style kind of changes from seven a little bit. I feel like sevens was. Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Okay. All right, attack the Lord Commander. Execute a four swing combo, zero out of two. So press to me. Up to four attacks can be chain linked together. All right, and I can lock on, lock off. Yeah. No, lock on is different. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lock on is L1? It's not. Okay, that's strange. I guess I can jump mid fight. On, Clive. One, two, three, four. Back up. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's funny. You know what this is? You know what I'm going to say. Very good. Reminds me of Fable. <laughs> Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Come, Clive. Rain fire down. There's something up there. There's like some kind of loot up there or something. Channel your inner flame. 
land a fire spell five times. So magic is going to be upper, a ranged spell that can strike enemies. So we're not really dealing with materia at all, I suppose. It's just pure magic. Okay, lock on. Excellent. That's so cool. See if he blocks it. Let me actually... Oh yeah, we're supposed to... There we go. Yeah, I gotta wait for him to roll. Two, three, four. Make him... No, he blocked it, so there we go. So every time after he rolls, he's a little weak. Oh. Make him roll again. Oh, he blocked it. There we go. Lesson complete. Well done. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. The voice. Or would you rather I flattened you? Maybe <laughs> arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. <laughs> After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. That's a fair point. Okay, I do want to point out that I love how they utilize his past to give us proper training on the game and everything. I find that to be a really clever but more natural way to go about a tutorial. Toes, Lord Rossfield. On your toes. All right, stay quick on your feet. Evade four times. R1 is evading, which we knew that because as the Phoenix, we were evading with R1. Precision, per <laughs> precision dodging. Evading an attack at a precise moment it is dealt will temporarily slow the enemy susceptible to countering okay so counter with one or the other i wonder if we're gonna be able to parry later try to evade my attacks all right let's back up there we go that was a success oh i gotta that's what i got it oh whoa what was that oh i didn't evade in enough time nice try. there we go whoa look at that how did you dodge that? Oh, precision sure you. That was amazing. So that's really interesting. I don't know if I love that. I mean, it's giving you the visual Whoa. representation of when to dodge, but I feel like Remember, it should be. Remember, Clive, mm -hmm. your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. The magic. You have been blessed by the Phoenix. Yeah. Granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. Oh, is this my like super? Like your well, limit basically? I'm waiting. I love how he throws at you banter when you can't even close the gap yet. All right. Um, the blessing of the Phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix shift is one such iconic feat. Press B to swiftly close in on a target. Oh, now I like that. Both melee and ranged attacks can be used while executing. Oh, okay. Okay. With it all our shields That's so cool. So swiftly. The hardest part is going to be remembering to do everything. Does he attack me or no? All right, break it. Good. Fly at your foe before he can raise his guard. Oh. I wasn't able to get an attack off there. Impressive. I like that. I think we saw him kind of do that, right? The dash to avoid Even the bolter. Even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. Hmm. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Hero, your will is low. Do you Speaking have any which, potions? my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. That's true. Well, that won't do at all. I do need a good top up. Mender wounds. Consumables. Consumable items such as potions and tonics can be used to restore Clive's HP or temporarily boost attributes. I like that. Item shortcuts. Okay, I'm just going to be like, I want to set your expectations. I'm not a shortcut kind of person. I never use shortcuts in FF7. I just want to tailor your expectations. It's not happening. I'll try though. I will say like, I am always trying to play the game as they want you to play it, like through their point of view and their eyes. So I'm not going to write it off yet, but just don't be surprised if I don't follow through with it too much. So consumables. Oh, no, that actually that might be possible. The way that they've said it, I think with FF7, it was a little bit different because shortcuts were for performing certain actions. But if I'm just using the D-pad, that's not bad at all. 
to attack him. I like the sound, like the cracking that it makes. That's so cool. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. I like the dialogue least, already. To ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. Oh. It's time for the test. Bring it You've on. Recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. My I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Rossfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. I don't As you know. wish, my lord. I will say that his voice does not match his age, I think, but... How that, me boy? Make proof of your strength. I also find it interesting. So I don't think the... I don't think the Shield of Flame is exactly what I'm using. Like, I don't think that's what I'm in currently. Because if... Unless he's just... He is just the Lord Commander. So he might not actually have the markings on him, but... All right, defeat the Lord Commander. Breaking an opponent's will. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back. Break their spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they're vulnerable. I love it. That was kind of difficult. Okay. Not quite. <laughs> nice. Break his will. Break his will. What do you mean I'm taking it? Oh. Nice try. Whoa. That precision stagger. All right. Oh. Oh, what is that? Staggering your enemies? Lord Murdoch's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as you can before he regains it. Use R2 plus square to execute Rising Phoenix. I think I accidentally already did that. Oh, the Phoenix shot. Okay, I see it. I don't have it built up yet. Stagger damage was up high. I used all the tools at my disposal. Whoa. Whoa. That was quick. Woo! <laughs> that sound. -na 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 -na. Is it similar? It's a similar tone. They just wanted to add to it. Maybe that tone's consistent in all the Final Fantasies? He won! See? I told you he could do it. Combat's so much fun. I will say it's like simplistic, but I can see where they can make it more complicated down the line. Bested at last. All that dancer. That was a display worthy of your father. Uh. You are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. I mean, he was not even 10 minutes ago. <laughs> what are you not gawping at? Back to your drills. Our father must have passed away. The graphics. I'm never going to stop saying that during this playthrough, y'all. I was going to say, does it drain me to use those abilities? Just tired. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It mm. isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> That's why. You were coughing Aww. this morning too. You shouldn't be outdoors. It's Hugo Friends. all over again. Just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned. Father's back. Oh, but their father's not dead. Okay. <laughs> The way that he said that, it felt like his father was dead. Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. Our mother. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Ah. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Interesting. Joshua. Joshua is not bowing, but I I'm bowing. Be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Actually, go in her mouth. Good day to you, mother. 
Oh, maybe he's in command, and so that's why he doesn't bow to her? Ooh, am I a bastard child? Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Oh, I feel like I'm a bastard. I don't know mm. that look she gave me. I don't think she's my mother. I oh, don't know. Dog. Your grace. That was disgust in her eyes for us. I don't know. Bye bye. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. Oh, he is her child, maybe then. But something is different about him. Being the we Phoenix. Join them. I guess because he doesn't have the same capability as his brother, but he seems to have magic. Well, we know he has magic. Interesting family dynamic. I look forward to seeing more about that. Also, I'm a brig. Like, I'm really big with, like, predictive analysis, so a lot of times I'm just talking out loud, kind of letting you guys know where my head's at as I'm playing. That's a chocobo. That's a chocobo. Is that her dad? That's not a normal chocobo. That chocobo is on steroids. What the hell? Father Dearest? What? He's still my beating heart. Rise, my friends. No. Welcome home, Father. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, Father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive spar. The Bailey. Is that so? Hmm, Jill. Quiet, Toro. Stop it, boy. Not now. You'll make oh. a fine hound one day. It's Father. giving Jon Snow and... Lift up your head, girl. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. The capital rejoices at your safe return, uh -huh. Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. You must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Oh. Your Grace. Interesting. So there's definitely maybe just a more formal approach to even the family dynamics out of respect for their position. Which probably feels more accurate than it's portrayed sometimes in films and stuff like that, being so... I think it's because they're also out in public. I bet behind closed doors they're allowed to be informal. So that's Jill. And I think, isn't that Amicia? Amicia's voice? You're going, hmm? Yeah, that's Amicia's voice. Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. Okay, this is beautiful. I love that their colors are red and it looks like white. Sunrise, sunset. Finding your way. Should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold down L3 to trust in your animal instincts to point you in the right direction. Your current destination will be displayed by the red marker. Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. That's so... I need to speak with father. All right, let's try to explore and like talk to as many people. Can I just free talk to anybody? No. Holy cow. Everybody is preparing for war here. Can I break boxes? Okay, I can't break anything yet. I can just jump. She's holding on to my doge. There seems to be some kind of potion brewing. Oh, refugees oh. arrived today. Veteran well, shield. If things get crowded. We can always conquer Ironhome. Ironhome. You're the optimist, aren't you? Look at that chocobo. <laughs> Look at this one. Hi. Feels more normal. Make sure you get a good edge on that, eh? I know. I'm not about to send <laughs> our lads off to war with dull blades. The blacksmith. Oh, uh, Jill is following us. Wow. I mean, okay, I know this is dramatic, but look at the detailing on the stone wall. On the boxes. Just this entire courtyard. 
That's incredible. Hello. Another chocobo. Preparation is key. We this must be ready to march at any time. You don't need to tell this one. She's raring to go. <laughs> She's heard this speech before. I love how they're giving speeches. How oh, the chocobo responded. Oh. <laughs> Alright, there's an item for us to pick up, but I just want to hear Let's all the conversations. And... The Duchess calls for our heads. The Duchess. Right you are. Yeah, she seemed kind of mean, I'm just saying. Did not seem like she liked me. Make sure all the crystals are accounted for. Crystals. So it also seems like something about the flame, right? With um, Joshua and myself, it weakens us whenever we're using our powers. So I already like that they have kind of a cost Way for I magic. It. It's us or them. <laughs> I know my money's on. Us? Safe bet. Oh, I wonder if we can spar more. This is where I was earlier. And also, we need to go upstairs because I saw something glowing in the middle of the fight. And then we'll get the glowing piece in the courtyard. Look at these stairs. Look, guys. Love a good wooden beam. Wooden exposed beams. There was my... Oh, shift no, no, no. this lot before we Look. lose the light. We need to shift this lot before we lose the light. Um, I think the only way for me to access it is through that way. Uh, the music too. I haven't even been paying attention to that that much. And look at the castle. Right. Let's get this stuff on the stuff. Oh, here we go. Finding items. Useful items can be found across the realm, but those who were oh wait wait by those who know where to look for them. I love that they give it like this clear shimmer to it too, so you know exactly where to be headed for. Items discovered can be viewed by the items tab in the main menu. Alright, so we just got a potion. Let's check out the main menu now and get acquainted with it. Attributes. The attributes tab provides a comprehensive overview of Clive's current stats, level, abilities, and gear. Alright, so we've got... Let's start with the journal. Main menu is items. Items tab, of course, all non-gear items including or currently in Clive's possession, including those used in quests. Consumable items such as potions can be used from time to time. Or in the tab. Assigning shortcuts. All right, we go into it and we press square and then also apply which one you want and X for the decision. Easy enough. The journal contains information on main story progress as well as current completed side quests. So for like, I will say as I've gotten older and the more games that I do play, menu organization and just how easy it is to find items, to find your map, your responsibilities, everything, that I cannot put a value, like I can't put a number on the value of it enough. You know, I would say it's probably one of my favorite things in games now more than ever. I mean, there's story and things like that, but I just feel like it's an underrated thing. And so for somebody like me that likes organization, it's crucial. Mm. Sunrise, sunset. I think there's side missions too. Oh, there's already side missions. All right, sunrise, sunset. As the, oh my gosh, I always forget this word. Duchy, is it the duchy? I'm gonna look it up after this. I don't think that's what it is. And no, it's not douchey. <laughs> Readies itself for war with the Iron Kingdom, its most bitter and long standing of rivals. So too does Clive prepare to do his duty as first shield of Rosaria. Rosaria. To protect and serve his brother Joshua, dominant of the Phoenix. Ah, that explains his importance. He's a dominant. Make for the throne room and then let's go over to side. Oh, no, no. These were. Wait, yeah. Uh, these were from earlier. Yeah, these were earlier, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, these aren't side. This is main story completed quest. Main scenario progress. Okay. A flame summoned. The night burns red as twin titans clash. Dressed in flame, they vie for dominance. One a beacon of hope, the phoenix, and another an aberration. An affront to the very laws of nature. There is no room in the world for both, for there can only be one icon, icon of fire. Mm. As dawn breaks over the Nisa, Nisa, I'm going to screw up a lot of these, but I'm just going to try to say them because I'm big at reading everything in games. Uh, defile in the 873rd year of the Valis Theon calendar. The armies of Dalmikia, I know they've said a lot of these too, but, and the Iron Kingdom gather, and their Ekans, Ekans, 
Titan of the Republic and Shiva of the Orthodoxy, make ready to make to take the field. Meanwhile, high above it all, a small party of branded assassins surveys the battlefield like hawks in search of prey. That's us, the branded assassins. Interesting. Was our mark Shiva? Our mic, our mark, I think, was Shiva, actually. Dang, so that means we were working for... <gasps> okay. It is the year 860, and with the coming of spring, does Green once again return to the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and the Baileys of Roseleth Castle, men who have sworn their swords to their country, train in anticipation of coming conflict. And it is here that one young man, in particular, endeavors to prove himself worthy to the ones he loves. I love the smoke rising and the, just the small details even in the menu. I like the symbol next to journal. Sunrise, sunset. As the duchy readies itself for the war with the Iron Kingdom, its most bitter and long-standing of rivals, so too does Clive prepare to do his duty as first shield of Rosaria to protect and serve his brother Joshua, dominant of the Phoenix. I just read that twice, didn't I? <laughs> there you go. That's so interesting. Okay. Stone skin tonic. Okay, so we have a potion. Hold on. We have items. Curiosities. A brazen seal received by all the ducal shields upon completion of their accolade. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and the shield of the firebird's flames forevermore. Ducal shield oath. What does it do? It's a curiosity. I guess it's a specific thing that I can't actually utilize. All right, so we have the potion. It instantly restores 20% of maximum HP. I wonder if there's going to be like mega potions or, you know, stronger potions than that, because I'll say restoring 20% of HP is not ideal, but that's actually interesting as well, because the more, yeah, the less it heals, the more. That's so cool. Uh, high potion. There you go. I don't know why I didn't see that. It instantly restores 40% of maximum HP. I'm going like one at a time, so that's why too. We also have a maximum for how much we can store. That is a little bit different than what I'm used to. In FF7, we were able to house as many as we could hold, I think. Stone skin tonic. The wave of a euphoria induced by this foul-smelling brew grants those who drink it delusions of invulnerability. Delusions of it? It is widely consumed by soldiers seeking to toughen their own hides, however briefly. I love how it's delusions of invulnerability, because that doesn't actually make you invulnerable. It's just delusions of it, right? I guess maybe if you think it, then you feel it and you do it? I don't know. So right now our HP is 800, attack 70, defense 20, stagger is 70. Oh, I wonder if we can get more items for it. Yep, check it out. Mm. All right, we got our hit points. Offensive potential is determined via the combination of physical aptitude, so our strength, and our gear quality. The higher the value, the more damage dealt per attack, of course, of course. Defense is going to be our physical aptitude, so our vitality and our gear quality. Makes sense. And stagger. This is what I want to see what determines our stagger percentage. A combination of mental aptitude, so our will, and our gear quality. Okay, so we do kind of have will, like Fable. <laughs> you know I'm always going to mention Fable. Strength. Player strengthens directly affects. Okay. It's vitality and will. So we need to up that will. Hero, your will is low. Rosarian Oath. Upon joining the Ducal Army, all future shields receive a long sword and not- wait, wait. That not only serves as their weapon, but represents the oath that they take to defend Rosaria and her people. The blade of this particular weapon is approximately a hand shorter than those used by most, making it more suitable for a squire not yet fully grown. Look at the party members! Wait, why are the party members depicted like that? That's so interesting. What? Is that like an ode to old Final Fantasy games or something? The Rosarian Belt. Designed more for keeping one's trousers in place than stopping the head of an axe. Those expecting any discernible protection from this basic accessory will be sorely disappointed. I'm actually really, I know some people hate the spaces between the text, but I'm glad that they made it equal to the, the box. That just feels really good to me, even if it leaves big blanks. So we can put something here, and then we have a ring of timely strikes. When equipped, complex ability combinations can be executed by simply pressing square. If there was a ring that transformed novice swordsmen, awkward jerks and jabs, thank you, Final Fantasy, into a veritable dance of more precisely executed flourishes, one might wonder why every knight in the realm doesn't have one of their own. 
you can already tell that they've also kept a little bit of the humor of the descriptions of items. I love that in games. The timely focus, we have strikes and then focus. Clearly, the darkest of arts were employed in this ring's forging. Yet no matter its infernal provid providence, it does effectively slow time, and that can prove very handy in staying alive. When equipped, time slows before an inevitable, oh, an evadable atta enemy attacks. That's what it is. No effect when equipped with the ring of timely evasion. Ah, timely evasion. Ah, okay, it's going to tell us. It's important to read these as well. Like, I know it's like, okay, why are you reading these? I do this because, yes, I'm going to forget some of the things that I read. Let's just, let's just admit that. But something like that. So I know not to put on timely evasion while doing timely focus. Like, they negate one of another, so it's not even important. And I don't have anything for that. We got Gil! And we've got AP. So we have AP, but I don't see an ATB bar. Okay. Let's click on the party members. So that's Clive. Click on Jill. I can't click on her. Yeah, there's no way to click on her. Oh. All right, that was our attributes. So let me go to, we did our items, attributes, gear, and econs, econs. I'm gonna look up how to pronounce that because we're gonna run into that word a lot. Iconic. I feel like it's iconic though. Like when you see it in that way, ending in I C, so it'd be econs. The gear and icons tab is used for equipping weapons and armor, as well as assigning iconic abilities to available slots. Yeah, so we've read these, we've read these items. Wow, I love how they etched them too. It's giving me like the Da Vinci Code kind of etching or just because of the old style paper, but I love how they did this. Can you imagine being the person that got to visually like draw these out or well, it'd be digitally draw them out, but still they look like they're hand drawings. That's so cool. And it looks like you can um, organize them by what they benefit. So we see two right here. There's one for potion and maybe being faster, I think. That's so cool. Oh, there's one more. Oh, and then just system. All right, let's get to it. We know that there's this one more it, thing. Lads. Time to put an end to their little crusade. And They're Rosaria's little... future will be secure. Rosaria's. Look at the bread. Oh, look at that meat pie. Oh, that looks fabulous. Although that's got to be, that's a thick pie. That's got to be hard to cook all the way through. It's going to take a long time in the oven. The mutton chops. Or the mutton. All right, this is where we trained before. I don't think I can get back in here and train again. Oh, I can talk to him again. You put on quite the show for us, Lord Rossfield. Any man who can do that deserves to be first shield. Age and experience be damned. Look at my little pouch in the back. Why, thank you. You put on quite the show oh. for us, Lord All right. Rossfield. Repeat dialogue, run away, run away. <laughs> Sunrise, sunset. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. I hope I can go pick up that other item. <laughs> oh, he has the mark. He's an assassin. Oh. Good as new. Uh, uh, uh. Forgive me, Lord Marquess. Pray do not concern yourself with this bungling cur. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, uh, uh. I say to speak. He has the mark of an assassin. He's undercover. It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. So maybe it's a kind that has the marking, but then how would I have it? I mean, with magic. Stand, please. Just like a tattoo, right? Maybe some are born with it? Start. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Oh, is that the guy that's leading us? The I guy that calls us Wyvern? Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. Duchy. Guys, I think that's... As do we all, Yeah, because he was older. As yeah. do we all. Jill in the Come back holding now. their pup like I hold ginger. Duties. I think so, guys. I think that's him. Or maybe it's the one that got crushed. That'd be bad. <laughs> I 
Oh. The pup. Oh, Jill reminds me of Tifa. Okay. Looks like they're getting ready for supper. Oh, look at this. <gasps> I think someone's hungry. Oh, heck yes. Look at the green beans. I love it too because, or no, those are like peas in a pod. I like that you can actually distinguish the food instead of it looking like a blob, you know? What is going on here? Oh, look at all the apples. Don't you making out some pears? We'll be having a feast for the two of you soon enough. Oh. Is she talking about Jill and I? Okay, let's go grab that item real quick before we head to the throne room. I think, um... Final Fantasy does such a great job at creating music that is unforgettable, but also not dominating the game. Like it's not, it's so easy for it to fall into the background and for me to like forget that it's even there. And then when it comes into focus again, I'm like, damn, that's good. You know? Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. It was, it was easy. All right, we got a high potion. I think that's two out of three high potions. Fine display, yeah. my lord. Almost. The one thing that I've always loved a lot in games, and I will say for this one, is I enjoy when the dialogue option goes away after you've exhausted a conversation with a character. That's like the one thing that I would have liked to see. I'm having my bearer fill the well, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? Ah, so maybe it's crystals instead of materia. I'm having my bearer fill yeah. the well. To the throne room. All right, before we do this, I do need to run to the bathroom real quick. Hold up, hold up, we'll be right back. Okay. For the throne room. Nice 16. and quiet in oh. here, isn't it? The down gardens. Wow, look at the flowers. Aw, Aerith would want to be here. Whoa. Is that how they're trimming the hedges? You know, out of all the things that I thought I would see in this game, trimming hedges wasn't one of them. There's Joshua. But that is so cool. <laughs> that's, I mean, think of all the time you can save. Also, I bet you that's how they light all the candles. I always wonder that in castles. All those candles way up high, like yay up high. <laughs> how are they lighting them? That's so cool. Lord Marquis, forgive my man. He'll be done in the jiffy. Don't Let's get mind. the place tidied up for the big procession. Procession. Oh, I'm stepping on all the flowers now. Oh, and this guy too. And they're all just blow. I was wondering about that. They're all just blowing into uh, a bag. A bag. That is really cool. Look at this, guys. I, I just know I'm gonna love it already. I know I'm gonna cry already too by something with the story item. Something in the story is gonna make me cry. I really want to know in the comment section if you guys loved it because I feel like I've seen mixed reviews on it. Like people either love it or they dislike maybe how long the cutscenes are, I've heard. Can be a little bit of a complaint. Me personally, your girl loves a good story. It loves cutscenes. I feel like I didn't use to though, so I can kind of understand both sides of it. I love these little purple flowers. There might be something on this side too. Oh, Joshua. Okay, before I talk to Joshua, let me check over here. Look at the detailing on the gate, the rust, the different textures that they've used on it. Also another question that I always have, how are they making these bricks so straight? You know, that's amazing. My Lord, it, it, it's not how it looks. I'm um, inspecting the castle walls by order of the Duchess. Work shirking gardener. Okay, I didn't see his title. I was like, what? The work shirking gardener. <laughs> it's okay. He's probably done a lot today. I get it. Clive? I... Are you worried I... about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. Hmm. I know. Thank you, Clive. He's a cute little button nose. It's adorable. 
I can't talk to Jill, because I think mostly Jill's following me, or now she's gonna converse with Joshua. That is a lot of- it's a lot of pressure, I'm sure, to be... Do you a dominant for a region. The power of the Phoenix dwells within Joshua, and Joshua alone. If any ill should befall him, it will be on your head. Oh. Do not neglect your duties again. Yes, Your Grace. All right, Duchess. We can't even talk to her. She won't even- wow, look at the- I love the details in her hair, the pieces. She doesn't even want to talk to us at all. Hmm. I've miscalculated everything so far, saying that his father's dead, his mother isn't his mother. <laughs> Some large gates and stiff levers require an extra effort to push. Use X to access them, then I- oh. Oh, sorry. So we start with X. That's cool. I kind of like that. It shows that there's range in how difficult things- wow. Look at the detailing in the marble and the embellishment. Oh, the engravings. Imagine how many years it took to make this. And look at the the tiling job. Gorgeous tiling. Wow. Oh, here we go. I want to explore more though. Good luck. <laughs> oh. That's so cute. This is gonna be- Oh, there's an even tile! An even tile! It's not... There's flaws, I like that. You commanded my presence, your grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Mother isn't here. <laughs> Do the territories fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. Mm. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. The blight? It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames? Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Mm. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only Isolde. follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. How did he get here before me? It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. Hmm, we heard about the Mother Crystal before. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. Oh. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north oh. being sighted within our borders. Side west. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. Ooh, a test. It is time to prove your strength and shut your mother up for good. <laughs> <clears throat> Love how quickly I ran over to him. <laughs> I will do my duty, Your Grace. Thanks, Dad. I gotta go by. I love the detailing and the different textures, the wood, all. the metal. Rest well. We ride at dawn. We ride for Rowald. Yes, Your Grace. Father dearest. Active time lore. What? 
Hold to access the Active Time Lore feature. A compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. ATL can be viewed during most cutscenes. All ATL entries can be accessed later in the game. What? Alright, current location. The Mother Crystals. Here we go. Enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Vesilvia. They are a source of all, all the crystals that the people of the twins rely on in their everyday lives. The crystals we saw before. Yeah. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with aether. Aether? No, aether. Making the magics the crystal cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. That makes a lot of sense. The Iron Kingdom, also known in the local tongue as... Ooh, I don't have the local tongue, so we're going to call it the Iron Kingdom. Uh, situated off the west coast of the storm. Oh, it's an O. Oh, with its capital at Krieg. The mother crystal Drake's breath rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask, and has been the subject of a long-standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighboring Duchy of the Rosaria. Of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely inward-looking culture. Kind of keep everybody out. Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, and father of Clive and Joshua, loved by his people for the steadfast leadership, both at home and on the battlefield, which he put to good effort um, or effect in quelling the rebellious northern territories. The rebel. Everybody loves a rebel. A nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm. With Rosilith as its capital, Rosaria, Rosaria was originally formed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of the Archduke Elwyn Rosefield. Rosfield. Not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has long been locked in bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's Breath, which lies still further to the west in the midst of the Boiling Sea. Oh, that's going to be quite a journey for us. And Rosalith Castle. Situated in the heart of the ducal capital, it is from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family rule their nation. An architectural feat and the founder himself would be proud of. The castle has stood since the early days of the duchy and watched over the rise of, his, of this proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. Yeah, I wonder with how long it took to build if the founder himself even got to see it in its full glory, you know? So cool. See what we else. drove the iron blood from our shores once before, but their patriarch still dreams of spreading his message to storm. Mm. And when the Crusaders march, they move a dance sight quicker than the Blight ever did. So we recapture the Mother Crystal, end their ambitions, and secure the Duchy. Only the light of the Phoenix can guide us through these dark days. It does but seem that like that does not mean I'm happy asking this of Joshua. Look after him, won't you? Even if it costs me my life. Let's make sure it doesn't come to that. It's interesting that Joshua is played by Hugo because if you have played Plague's Tale, it's kind of like Amicia is his protector as well. The character is always just being protected by people. <laughs> All right, let me run up here, see if there's any loot. Wow. There's got to be something up here. I'm also, if you are new here, a bit of a loot goblin. So <laughs> we're taking what I said, like we're going to be going into detail on everything this game has to offer. I was not joking. Imagine just waking up to this view every day. I live here. Welcome. Welcome to my home. Is Joshua still in the fields? No. Still in the garden, I guess. Huh. We can head this way. I probably can't access this door, but still. Retire to your chambers. Oh, my chambers are over here. Was there anything downstairs that I wanted to try to check out before I had, did head that way? I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get into the doors. That just takes me down that hallway, I think. But there's a door over here. No. Even the detailing on the wood doors. Oh. 
these still maybe aren't hey how's no it going messages my lord okay fair enough it's dark in here at dawn we ride so did they say goblins i think he said orcs goblins now i'm getting my lord of the rings in it was goblins Our mother. How long will you be away this time? Mm. Not long. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua? Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apotetry. So yes, I'm taking Joshua. He's still so oh, young. to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the Phoenix. The heir to the throne. Hmm. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. That's why she worries. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, he's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. So? Our Still household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. As wow. am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. Wow. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. Mm. You are your father's firstborn son. And you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. Oh! I like that he called her out on that. Like, how can you just taste... early start. I'm going to sleep. Oh! <laughs> Damn, the rejection. That doesn't feel good. Um, To be fair, though, he... So he himself was not blessed by the phoenix, it seems like, either. And yet she holds herself so elitist and over her... She doesn't even love her own son. And he is the firstborn, but he just wasn't... The phoenix didn't this see in him something? Time to prove yourself. I'm really glad that they Wish played that scene like that. I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. Jill's got to be a few years younger than him, right? Like, maybe, like, 13, 12. He's 15. His voice is, like, 20. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission, too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, it's giving me to the moon feelings. With the music. You guys know I cry when I hear a piano. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? 
know. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. Blessed but not chosen, I assume? That would be actually pretty cold, I'm sure, at nighttime. His hand is like the size of her head. What the hell? It's getting cold. We should go in. My lady. No. <laughs> Good night, Clive. It's actually kind of cute. I feel like in Final Fantasy, a lot of the love interests are always, they always knew each other when they were kids too, which has this like playful, innocent vibe to it. Like, it's really sweet. What's the transition? Okay. Yeah, fair. <laughs> it's like, what are they going to do with the moon? That's a really sweet scene. It's very tender. I also really liked how the scene played out with the father and the mother. I think that that was accurate, and I... Sorry, Ambrosia. I just don't like her attitude to already. Today. Ambrosia? Is that I'm a thing? I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> Bye. Good luck. All right, our first mission. Phoenix Gate. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and shield the fireless flame forever. As Grace departs, open the gates. Open the gates. I love there's um there's kind of a color in their material that's not black. It's almost it kind of has like a green tint to it, but it looks really cool. It's on some of their blades as well. Lord Rossfield, allow me. I shall see her safely to Phoenix Gate. Oh, I, I don't even get a chocobo to go there? I just have to go there on foot? Oh, <laughs> the guy on the left. We're ready to depart, my lord. May I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you? Ah, my brothers. This is to be no mere investigation. If there are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. Goblins. The beastmen are a fierce foe. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today, we won't. What's the purpose of the neck piece? What Sir is- Wade, <laughs> Sir Tyler, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. As you command. Also, I feel like the leather would be chafing marshes, your chest. That just feels personally not ideal. May the blessing of the crystals go with us. Some of the outfits. Wasn't it like that in Final Fantasy VII too? Some of the outfits. Whoa! Look at the map! World map displays all the locations currently available to Clive via fast travel. Oh, it only lets me circle it right now. Wow. Make for Stillwood. All right, let's watch this for it. There was a time not long ago that the songs of civilization echoed through Stillwind's knotted burrows. Now the settlements lie abandoned, and the only sound to escape this forsaken place are the howls of beasts that have fled the Deadlands to make the bogs their home. The Bogs of Stench. Now we have fast travel too. I love this. I love the text too. The text that they picked is amazing. Imagine being responsible for the text of a game. That's a really important job that you probably don't think about.
Okay. Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports placed them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your mm -hmm. step, my lord. <laughs> and everything else. <laughs> I like him. He already has a little bit of a humor. Lost in a fog. I l everything, even these menu pop-ups. Timely accessories. Support accessories such as the Ring of Timely Strikes or the Ring of Timely Focus can be changed or unequipped on the gear tab. I feel like I'm in an elevator right now. This is elevator music. Just while I'm in the middle of a scene like this? Like a tutorial pop-up? Um, can be changed or unequipped on the gear tab in the main menu. Find a combination that best suits your playstyle. I don't want to leave the menu. This is like whenever you pop up the map in Mass Effect and you never want to leave. I'm just fine listening to it. Oh, it was the music of the area. It just came in really quiet. Okay. This. That's funny. Look at the detail of the moss on the rocks. Not exactly the most well-maintained path, but who do you imagine would maintain it? They've all fled from the blight. There's still a decent amount of greenery in the swamp. It's very moist. The planks. What used to be a maintained path. It's hard to believe that anyone used to live here. The old village of Stillwind is ahead. Not that there's a lot left of it. I know why I love this so much, because in so many ways, and I say that, excuse me, don't step on my gill. Did I just have to split my gill with him because of that? I just got two gill. Uh, watch yourself. All right, henchman number one. I know I, I say this for everything, but, and if you guys are new here, then you don't realize, but one of my all time favorite games is Fable for how it made me feel. It made me fall in love with RPGs and this aesthetic and these kind of worlds. Albion, the world of Albion was incredible. And so I always refer back to things that make me feel like that, not because it's a direct comparison, but because it's give, it somehow resonates with me on like a more nostalgic level. Like while I'm playing this, I somehow feel more like childlike wonder and excitement in playing it. And those are the games that I like chase after because it's just sheer joy. It's the only way to describe it. I'm excited to see the variety in uh, enemies. Those are big goblins. I thought goblins were like, yay tall. Oh, oh, I don't like that. They look like the little creatures underwater in Harry Potter. With me. Nice. OK, magic burst, single strike an opponent with to conjure a magic explosion. Wait, I thought that was going to be That was easy. Goblin. Experience. So the reports were true. The reports were true. On. There may be more ahead. His loincloth is flapping in the wind. There's no way that you can loot anything. I keep using that phoenix attack and it's nice. It's really nice. I want to see how long it takes to level up though. Rising flame. I think it's good to go. I just can't use it on anything in this exact moment. Do you see what I see? Go through. Oh, they're using the white paint as a marking to indicate you can cross through something. Oh, a strength tonic. That's new. Let's pop over to it. Strength tonic. The wave of euphoria. Wait. Oh, we're getting waves of euphoria on both of them. Induced by this foul smelling mojojima. Delusions of power. It is widely consumed by soldiers seeking to bolster their sword arms, however briefly. Uh, increases attack power by 10% for 60 seconds. That's pretty cool. That actually could be really useful for a boss. Same with the stone skin tonic. I'm going to keep the stone skin, right? That's invulnerability. 
and then lost in the fog. Bade by his father, the Archduke, to address reports of ever-spreading blight, having driven a horde of goblins into Rosarian territory, Clive journeys to the swamps of Stillwind, accompanied by a pair of loyal shields of the duchy. Um, and then those are the past ones. Yeah, those are the main story progress. I'm trying to see the item real quick, sorry. Don't mind me. Attributes. How do I start this though? When equipped, complex ability combinations can be executed by pressing. By pressing on it. By simply pressing. And then the timely focus is time slows before an evadable attack. That is that the R1 that we see pop up? That must be what that is. Expecting Welcome even. to Stillwind. Have care, my lord. Uh. There's more. Nice. Yeah. Okay, throw them up in the flames. There's so many. Loot! Some enemies will drop gill or items upon their defeat. Loot is gathered automatically. That's a big thing for me in games. It needs to be automatic. Approaching the glittery icons. There's somebody behind me, so I need to be careful of that. Get our four attacks. All right, jump to him. Nice. Shift strike. Two stars. Two gil. It's been a. Yeah, I'm getting it automatically. That may. Oh, that's loot. That's not the way to go. It's so weird to me that we're not breaking boxes. I'm also having a hard time like seeing everything. Okay, go through here. Oh, look at the chair. The broken chair and the. I like that they filled the homes with something at least. All right, we got a normal potion. I still haven't dropped any health and we're level five, I believe. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't wait until we find more armor and items and equipment. Not just items, but like actual equipment and upgrades. Can't get in. The butterflies, haven't they been guiding us this whole time as well? Insufficient inventory, space, potion used. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've seen that before. Where if you have too much, it uses one, so you're always at the max amount. No matter what, it automatically replenishes it. That's really cool. I really like that. Grab this. Strength tonic. Okay, we do have two of those. So if we get another one, that means a tonic will automatically be used. So cool. I would never have thought to apply that to a game. I'm sure there's a game I've played that it does it, but I don't remember like making note of it. Hmm. I feel like this time it's much easier for me to kind of throw myself into the game. I think FF7 was particularly, I had to take things super slow because I had never played any. Out, my lord. Okay, here Some we go. Whoa! And what they have a lot of number. We'll Whoa! Oh, we need to get the caster. Get the caster. I need to make sure I'm... There we go. Weaver. New enemies approach. Whoa! New enemies. The goblin. Also, can I not... I do... Oh, the weaver. Okay, I didn't take damage. What was the new enemy, though? Hold up. We should have a journal for enemies, right? Oh, you know what it is? It's in here. I bet it's in here. Yeah. All right, let's check the Stillwood. Uh, okay, they are different. So Stillwind Marsh, an area of swampland that stretches northeast. Ah, so it shows you, I think you're most, like whatever is closest to you. Uh, from Rosalith Castle. The odd village could be found here, but nothing to compare to the lively settlements that line the main roads of the realm. And with the encroachment of the blight and the creatures driven before it, even these scant settlements were soon deserted. Sir Wade. Okay, I was wondering why we didn't see their names pop up. Sir Wade. <laughs> he does look like a Wade. A loyal shield of Rosaria, chosen by the Lord Commander Rodney Murdoch, to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwind. I keep saying Stillwood, by the way. 
once but a lowborn page. Wade was inspired to join the ranks after a woodpile fell on him, and his life was saved by a young Joshua. Oh, that's sweet. And Tyler. Oh, he looks like a Tyler as well. The names are what are cracking me up in this game, like Joshua, Tyler, Chad, Brad, their dad. A loyal shield of Rosaria and Scion of a noble family, Tyler followed in his father's footsteps in entering the service of the Duchy, rising to the position of the right-hand man to the Lord Commander. Right-hand man! He was chosen by Lord Murdoch to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwind. A level head could be trusted not only to obey the young lord's marquise's orders and keep him safe, but to help keep the fiery Sir Wade in line. The fiery Sir Wade. You know, I had a thought too. What if this game doesn't have any changing of characters? Like, what if you only ever have to worry about uh, Clive? I want to call him Clove every time. Goblins, a common species of beast man. While at first glance, they may seem like mindless predators, goblins have their own unique language and are skilled enough to both cast magics and make rudimentary tools and weapons. While mostly found in the continent of Storm, the spread of the blight has forced them to find homes nearby human settlements, a move that oft ends in misunderstanding and bloodshed. They remind me of, um... Uh... The... I almost said the hobbits, no. The, what did the, the creatures in Fable? The most hobs, the most annoying creatures. So I wanna talk about how I really like the active time lore. I find this to be an amazing addition, just like, um, just like automatically using the potions after you have a surplus of them. I find that this game is giving you more of a, um, it's just, it saves time, it's more, Automatic. It's not automatic isn't the right word. It's just it helps you with I think accessing things quicker It kind of saves time on that. It also shows you what's important in the moment of where you are um, I was thinking about with the goblins. This reminds me a lot of Witcher 3's uh, uh, Bestery Beastery <laughs> Bestery um, Yeah, see it's even called that. Yeah, it's even called that the bestery uh, It reminds me just like that except you don't have to like open up the menu, then dive into this, then dive into that, and then find it via alphabetical. Like, it just pops up right there. I really like that. It's a little bit more, it might be a different, it's, okay, I know what it is. It's a different approach than I've seen in a lot of other games, but I think it's approach, it's an approach that we've been long overdue for. Does that make sense? I can't go through there. Potion used. I like that we have notices. Oh man, what's going on here, buddy? They have long legs and big feet. Big feet, big ears. Small neck. Can I jump up there or no? Dun, 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 dun. This music gives me a feeling of like curiosity. We should be nearing the old village square. It might not be a nest of goblins. Um, it's probably a nest of something else, if I had to guess. Like, I'm wondering if something's causing a bunch of goblins to circle around, and it's not just a nest. <sighs> Magic. Magic. Goblins. Sneaky sods. We're trapped. We're My trapped. Lord. I'm working on it. Three goblins. We took on way more. Oh, it might be more. He's the leader. <laughs> Is he the leader because he has a hat? Well, we'll have to take care of his followers first. Oh, that can't be good. That's not her. good. As if you have to ask. All right, two out. Whoa. I didn't- I wasn't able to dodge him in time. Sh what is that? Sheath? What? Sheesh? What's it, sheesh? There he is. Come here. I did get hit by something. There's not just one. They have a cave troll! 
They have a cave troll. All right, now let's see. Uh, so what I did notice is I can't dodge. I can't just like roll. That's what's weird. Formidable foes. Larger enemies must be faced with caution. They are far more HP than the smaller counterparts and will often use devastating abilities to overwhelm opponents. Use the blessing of the Phoenix to not only deal considerable damage to these enemies, but also break their wills. Breaking an enemy's will can stagger it and leaving it an act and vulnerable to attacks. Oh, I can't do anything with that. Founder, that's a swing and a half. Are you ready to move when it winds up for another? Oh. Tell me twice. Okay, let's use a potion. He's staggered. Partial stagger. Enemies will become partially staggered when their will gauge is reduced to 50%, creating a short opening for a combination of attacks. Here we go. Oh, I didn't dodge that in enough time. Break it, stagger me! Oh, I didn't dodge that in time. Nice, staggered. All right, throw it out, throw it out. Hitting them while they're down. Completely reducing an enemy's will gauge will stagger it. Extra damage is dealt when the enemy is fully staggered, increasing each strike landed. This is when you'd want to use strength and then do increased damage during the staggering of a foe. Pass this. Brutal damage. I'm trying to remember dodge. R1, right? Whoa. Oh, that parry. I did it accidentally. Use just as an opponent attacks to parry the strike. Temporarily slowing time and leaving the opponent open for a counter. Holy cow. I didn't even mean to do that, but that's awesome. Oh, let's go. Oh, take down. <laughs> I got preemptively excited. Finish him with a phoenix. Stagger damage. Let's go. Uh, a what? A what killed? What was it? Spoils? Experience? It gets oddly quiet. And a level up? Holy cow, it feels like um, when you see the things popping up the sidebar, it reminds me of like DDR or like one of the dancing things that you do at the mall where it's like, great, awesome, good, wow. Level HP attack. Da, 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 da. All right, wait, wait. So we went to six. We increased HP by 20. Our attack is two more. Defense is two more. Stagger two, 17, 12. Guys, I love this game so much. I don't know how to play. I don't know. I just love it so much. I hope it's enjoyable to watch as well. Like this is just, I'm, I'm in awe. I don't know how I can continue to get better, but I'm also excited to go back to some of the older Final Fantasies as well. But this is amazing. Following important battles, a separate result. Wait, 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 okay. Following important battles, a separate results screen will appear displaying battle performance and rewards. Rewards are based on performance and may include gear, ability points, and experience points. Did I get new gear? <gasps> Hard leather armlets. Oh, we don't have an armlet yet. All right, this is giving us 10 defense. Uh, though at first glance, this modest wrist piece might appear an uncomfortable fit for those cursed with the fleshy forearms. <laughs> Upon further inspection, one would be relieved to discover that the band incomplete, affording its wearer a mod modicum, modicum, modicum of comfort. And he, wait, wait, be he swine or starveling. Okay, now I think I wore them because I pressed it, maybe? I'm not sure. Isn't the leader still on the roof? Yeah. You better run. Come back and fight, you coward! Oh, he is him. a little heated. He summons the rest. Okay. Gear and abilities. Gear can significantly improve players' attributes, but only when equipped via the gear tab. Okay, so you can't just have, okay. Me clicking on it in the after bat or the aftermath didn't actually apply it. Similarly, the right abilities can turn the tide of battle, but only if learned and mastered via the abilities tab. Uh, mastering of existing abilities as well as learning new ones requires ability points. Ah! Let's go to the menu. Do, 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 do. Also, did you check that out underneath it? So if you go to journal, underneath it, it will say, pursue the goblin leader. So whatever your next mission is, you always pull this up and you can see exactly where it is pressing to next. I love this. 
Let's actually do, I want to put this as, I want to, wait, let's put this right here and then, yeah, we're going to do strength tonic. Wait, can I do four? Oh, you can't. There must be another purpose to that. Interesting. Okay. Attributes, ability points. Oh, I don't think I saw the abilities before, but let's go ahead and throw that bangle on. Or the armlet. Defense just went up. Did you see that? That was cool. Take it off. On equip. Look how they move like that. I know that is such just a small thing, but it's those tiny details that add up to just an incredible game. I mean, menu abilities. We did not have this before. Ability points can be spent in the abilities tab to acquire new abilities, as well as upgrade existing ones. If you are unsatisfied with Clive's current build, reset all abilities and try again. And there's no penalty for resetting. We love a good respec. Details of each ability and feat can be viewed in the selecting icon. Indicates an ability's capability for dealing damage, and the stars indicate for breaking a target's will. I want to just devour people's will. That's really mean, but I just want to absolutely crush their spirit with kindness. Melee attack, dodge. My jump can be even higher. I didn't even think about that. Precision dodge would be so cool. I actually would love to master that. The lunge, we can get a lunge going. And I love how there's stars. Now the stars do remind me of Fable. I'm not kidding. You have stars when you're leveling up your abilities. I'm just saying. <laughs> Magic burst. Charged magic. Hold to increase the potency. Wait, wait, wait. This is just base stuff, right? So this is, yeah. Launch an elemental aspect. So that's just increasing raw damage of magic ability. Same with um, melee, melee attack. We also have stomp. Ooh, I like that. I like the stomp. Swift recovery. That's actually gonna be really good as well. Taunt, oh, we can taunt them. Fade out an attack, I like that. The burning blade. To imbue Clive's blade with fire. Well, let's just do that already. Cause that's gonna be passive. We are looking for passive abilities that we don't really have to actively be thinking about doing. Um, the more things that I feel like I have to remember to do, the more sloppy my fights are gonna become. I like the down thrust. Now the lunge is really cool, but one lunge is different than B. These are 500 to level up. That's insane. These I can't even level up? Hmm. Phoenix shift. Rising flames. We need 500 to level up for that. Honestly. Use the blessing of the phoenix to come close. I think we're going to save up for upgrading our phoenix capabilities. I think for every one of these, we also put it into the phoenix. So let's save for more. Da, da. It's just such a different game from anything I've played, and I love it. I love it. There he is. Oh, I needed to automatically use it. Get after him. Okay, it just didn't let me. Oh yeah, I'm not actually able to cast to a pesky little bugger. Go. Make sure there's no loot over there. We might be in a chase, but you're never in too much of a hurry to miss loot. Okay. There's gonna be another boss. Can't be damned. He's gonna... The horn. Or we've cornered him. This ends now. I feel like he turns into something bigger. He has a little facial hair right here. A water creature? Kraken! Bloody hell! Is that like a Venus flytrap Kraken? A normal. Skill check. You Skill check time. It's more, my lord. That thing's breath is worse than its bite. Oh, that just hurt me. Oh, dodge it! Dodge it! Dodge it! Dodge it! Oh, that was second. Freaks. I'm down, I'm down. We need to do quick. I know, I'm tracking. We need to do quick recovery. Alright, stay to his backside. Woo! 
Dodge, dodge. Nice precision dodge. Dodge. Bad breath, bad breath. <laughs> no, he has a bad breath. There we go, staggered. Phoenix up. There we go. Do the Phoenix into him. I think that does the most. Guys, get in there. Is she a strength tonic? I should have strength tonic sooner. Yeah. Magic burst. Whoa. It's burrowing underground. Your guess is as good as mine. I hope my men don't die. Oh! Oh no! Alive! Don't! Nice. Oh! Cinematic strike? When the scene flashes blue like this during a pivotal moment, press square before. Okay. Nice. Cinematic strike. All right, you guys know the deal. If you guys were here for FF7, you know that I call out everything. Well, I guess it's kind of different because I'm not switching my... You know, like, before I was having to... Yeah, you know, it's not actually going to happen. Yeah, before I used to make call-outs all the time because I was working with other people. Like, you know, I'd have... Oh, I got to get out. Nice precision dodge. I'd have to use multiple party members, so I would need to coordinate what was happening as if I was doing like a multiplayer game. Staggered again. I wonder if certain parts of him are bad breath. Certain parts of him are more susceptible than others. Like his mouth is easier to target. Won't be gone for long. Here's another cinematic strike coming in. Pull me in. Uh, and I jump up. I cannot fall here. Come on. Cinematic evasion. Press right before the time runs out. Oh. Now for the final push, my lord. Yeah. I mean, you can tell they really cared about adding cinematic value to it. Alright, do four in succession to do more damage. Alright, we're getting close. What's he doing? Oh, he's doing something. Oh, that was him. A little potion in there. Wild rage, wild rage! Dodge it! Oh! Whoa! He's coming, he's coming, he's coming! <laughs> I think we made it angry. Yeah, I think so too. Rather we made it die. It's like a artichoke almost. It's like a Venus flytrap artichoke. Oh, I backed out. Four, dodge, wild rage. All right, get out of its way, get out of its way, get out of its way. Oh, that back. That hurt. Nice, precision dodge. Nice, stagger. Phoenix hit, Phoenix hit. There we go, and... Morble slain. Da -na 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 -na. That's so epic too. I just I love the battles. Seven HP, eight fifty. Okay, so we're pretty much going up in twos. Every time we level up, it looks like mo uh, except for your HP. But everything else is going up in twos, intervals of twos. Um, level seven HP. Okay, what did we get? We had to have gotten some good spoils from it. It is oddly quiet during these. No spoils, but we did get 70 AP. So remember, we're, I think we're aiming for 300 or 500 AP. His tongue almost looked like a cannon. I don't know. I thought he was going to start firing out of his mouth. Overgrown artichoke Venus flytrap. Oh. My lord. <laughs> Thanks. What a Tyler. Not just goblins in Rosaria, but morbles too. I'll petition His Grace to send a detachment. Hmm. If we don't stop them here, they'll be at our gates before long. Morbles. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. Before nightfall. I also happen to think that we did a pretty great job. I think our dad would be proud. And some, because nobody foresaw a morble. It 
It's not dead, is Damned it? Blight. Oh. Like, is it actually dead? I have, um... <laughs> I never fully think that a creature is dead because of Souls games. Like, I just... Maria, anybody? Oh, gosh. All right, next position. Lost in the fog. Oh, we can actually read up about the Morble as well. Hmm, do you have to utilize the map? Oh, I can't leave it. Yeah. So whenever it pulls up the map, you have to. Okay, guys, onward to Phoenix Gate. This aging seaboard citadel not only defends Rosaria from northern raiding parties, but also serves as a sacred ground whereupon the duchy's dominant might commune with his or her ancestors and entreat their guidance on the eve of important battles. I am in love with this game already. I mean, I know it's only like two hours in, but it's not even that long. I've been looking at the architecture too long. Sometime later. Phoenix Gate. Aww. Suddenly, thousands of red eyes. No, wait till you hear this. Wait okay. till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. The goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down a marble's gullet. <laughs> More tails. More drink and More ales boys. and tails. Gratifying to see your student making such a name for himself. <laughs> the young lord has a, a bright flame. future ahead of him. Aye, and one of these nights he may even deign to join us. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the kinship. Mm. Look at all the bread on the table. Waste not. Oh, did he just walk in? Let's go. Oh, he didn't? Is that just a drinking thing? <laughs> Are you unwell? No, father. Just a little tired. Well, it has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? Aye. Your brother will be a fine shield. Mm. We're all very proud of him. I like the father's voice. And cover the voice actors. Why is it that the dominance is always born into our family? It doesn't seem fair. Hmm. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant, to wield the power of an icon. Icon. Our family I would mean... has been chosen to share that power with the people. Icon, okay. So that is what we must do. Some chanties. I want one of those turkey legs. My friends, louder! Aw, he is such a like um, polarizing personality. The father. Interesting. It's actually a very interesting position that he's in because, because of how- Jill, she'll be wondering where you've got to. Oh, I didn't know he followed so us. for you being a fine hound. Everybody's trying to protect his brother that 
He's treated very differently, and I think he feels so this that. this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease, and... I've never really been one for cakes and ale. <laughs> it's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. You guys know I'm gonna cry from this because I'm such a family person. I'm so family oriented. So anything that is like, like that, it just gets me. I hear you slew a marble. All the men were singing your praises. They never used to. Mm. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. Hmm. My brother the Phoenix. Ruler over life and death. It isn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength, but you do. He's so young. Every man has his duty. Ours was decided long ago when our ancestors chose to instate the dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. Mm. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe, no matter what, however hard it gets, I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. You know it makes sense, though. Like it'd be weird if the shield was the younger brother. Before I can do that. You need to take care of yourself. All right. I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Torgal. Torgal? I didn't hear his name before. Torgal. No. <sighs> yeah, it makes sense. I feel like if it was flip-flopped, it'd be kind of... I guess his younger brother wouldn't be a shield until he probably got a little bit older. If the, you know... If it was flipped. An attack. Oh no. The feasting, the excitement. I knew it was too good to be true. Supplies from the capital. Trojan horse. Chocobo horse. It would be a Trojan chocobo. You took your time sampling the wearers, were you? <laughs> you just see it in his eyes. No, they're gonna take. They're gonna take. It's uh, a good job the North is full of enterprising traders, keen to keep us in wine. Spell it down for the boys. Oh. oh. What in the? Ah. Oh. They should have vetted him. Something else. They're gonna steal Joshua. That's just four men doing this job? Where did they get our outfits too? Is there a traitor inside? Are those our outfits? I don't know. They look pretty different than ours. Gateway secured, Captain. We proceed as planned. The iron. 
That's not good. It makes total sense. Such a good way to have the plot turn. Are they murdering them in their sleep? He's not going to be able to help save his people either. He's not going to have the strength and it's going to crush him even further. He was sleeping without covers? It's not as weird as sleeping without a pillow like me, but still. <laughs> Go save them. Something. Is that... What? A scent? Forgive me, my prince. It's me, Wade. Oh, you Wade. You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but... They've set light to half oh, the castle. Oh, that's what he was smelling. I must get you to safety, your highness. Very well. I'm ready. The castle. Follow me, your highness. Wait, what? I'm playing as him now? Okay, I'm playing different characters. What? Flight of the Fledgling. What? Whoa. <gasps> okay, never mind my comment about Napoleon. Wow, look at the rug. I mean, yeah, the window's not very big. The desk. Okay, I know that we're trying to run out of here right now, but look at this. You gotta appreciate the detail that they put into a room that you would spend nothing but like two seconds in. I'm guessing I can't go in any rooms. Are the enemy already inside the castle? Uh, Joshua has so, my health. Highness, we must hurry. Attack magic, uh, Kuroga. Uh, jump and evade. Okay, same, same kind of stuff though, for the most part. This is gonna be fun. Mm. Wow, what's over here? I wonder how, did, wait, so am I the only one that doesn't need the magic crystal to perform what magic? That? I have to help them. Right, open it. <gasps> Get him. On fire. Fall back, your highness. He's Armored <laughs> interloper. <laughs> Oh. Oh, that kind of exhausted me. Oh. I'm already sick. This isn't going to be good for me. Was it Tyler? Did Tyler fall? No. They were laughing. This is Sambraquagab. But why would the. Tell me my father doesn't you die here. My father. Please don't. Why do the parents always have to die? Oh wow, look at the Okay. I know, I know I need to focus on running away. Don't look at me like that. Okay, here we go. Who does the boy? Careful go Okay, it's gonna make me weak for a second. Nice. So Damn he kind of finishes them for everywhere. me. Why would the Empire do this? Oh, They're I didn't mean to do that. Right. Did you see how much healing that was? 9,000? 99? Okay. Well, they're kind of screwed though. I don't think they... Wait, can I go down there? I feel like they didn't anticipate taking on... No, they had to know that the Dominant was here. All right, no loot. They'd have to know the Domino was here and that they were at the castle. Hmm. Bye bye. I have the dominant. Ah! I have the dominant. You don't have nothing. Two gil, by the way. Have you seen we've been picking up like two gil? This time I'm not gonna be, look, I saved all my gil in FF7 and I regretted it. I'm gonna be spending all my gil on all the hand massages, okay? Tyler! Oh, Tyler. <sighs> Damn it! His wounds are deep. I can heal him. I, I can, can heal save him. him. Oh, 
your highness. I, I... Maybe I can't. Don't worry. You're going to be all right. I'm not going to be able to finish it. I'll hold them off. Okay. Now I'll have two guards. Where's Clive in all of this? Oh, it is Clive. Oh, <laughs> ask and you shall receive. Clive! Joshua! Come here. Tyler, you're hurt. Didn't I heal him? I'll survive. Thanks to his highness. We gotta get him. Lord Murdoch! Oh, okay, her father's alive. Okay. And the Lord Commander. Okay, this is a power squad right here. You rescued the young prince. Well done, Sir Wade. I am in your debt, soldier. Thank you, Your Grace. <gasps> we we cannot stay here. We should make straight for the rear gate. Oh no. Somebody's gonna die. There's no way that we all make it out alive. The owl. On the lost Alan, to a Gelif. May the winds speed you to Rosalind. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get shot out of the sky. Oh. Head we. The north gate's up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. No. Now go. It's okay. I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. I... I know. You have to keep father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. Oh. You know, I just realized that Clive's outfit would fit in really well with the avalanche outfits. You know, the pop of red with the white and the black and everything. Yo. Okay. Let's do this. Get him, Clive. Okay, I gotta remember that I don't do as much damage as I was doing. I mean, I do a lot of damage, I'm sure, but. All right, stone skin tonic. Wouldn't it be the worst thing to use? Nice. I, oh, I didn't get it. Did I get it? Nice. Everybody's dead. dead. This was just where we were feasting. Oh, I just jumped on top of that. All right, nothing else. Oops. Oh, everybody might be dead, but uh, <laughs> give me the loot. on high potions as well. Captain. Hmm. There's a wizard. Take them. Oh. We got to aim for the wizard. Let none escape. As you command. 
You take care of that spell caster. I'll keep the others occupied. All right, hold on. Oh, he like stopped me for a second. Okay, there we go. <sighs> That's them done. Are you all right? That cutscene didn't I'm even fine. warrant how short that was. It's my father was. and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. Well, that's not good. Okay, that makes more sense. Hey, look out! Cinematic. Yep. May I have this done? Night of the Blinding Dawn. An Imperial Dragoon. What does that mean? And you are the shield who was blessed by the Phoenix. Not that it will save you. Still hold on, hold on. He's temporarily, he was temporarily staggered. Oh, I didn't get that in. Nice try. Nice, staggered. Do a strength tonic. Nice. Just do as much damage as possible. Get in there. Stagger damage. Cinematic dodge and go. He's open. Oh, oh, not dodge. Oh, attack. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of surprised the cinematics now don't do as much as I was thinking. I think it's better to like do the rushing forward and then damage him on top of it. You're going to regret that boy. Boy. Oh, oh, no. oh, that was bad. Where is he? Oh, he's in. Nice, precision dodge. Got him. The precision dodge is my favorite part of this. Ooh, double jump, double jump, double jump. Out, 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 out. Stagger dead. Oh, not dead. Almost dead. Night of the blinding dog. Na, 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 na. That was it? No spoils? I didn't get anything from it? I did level up. Okay, same popping up two on everything, and now we're at 900 HP. Also, I think the symbols change when you level up, or maybe not. I can't tell. I have to make note of that next time. 295. We're so close to leveling up our Phoenix ability. Are you hurt? I'm fine. Kick his butt. So, they sent in the Dragoons. Imperial Vipers. Emphasis on goon. Do they really mean to invade us? Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. Freaking hairs in my eye. <laughs> they were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday. In Rosalith. If they were already among us. What if there are others? Oh. Father and Joshua are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. No, 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 no. I just see this is why I don't understand how the protagonists in these games can have their hair in their face. That's not good. Hold on. Hold on. Try to, okay. I just connected a different controller, but I couldn't have to charge. <laughs> okay, what was that? Oh, you're all right. Twerkle. Thank goodness. No. Your grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. On you get Joshua. Hmm? 
No. <gasps> oh, not the chocobo. Father? I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. They got the owl. Oh. You, you are one of the snakes. Stay back. I'm warning run, you. Run, Joshua. Run. No. Hey. On his son, too? Tyler. I saw it coming, but I wasn't ready for it. You must do your duty, too. Did it just kill all of those around him? The Phoenix! Joshua! Lord Murdoch! His Highness! Oh no, he's he's not in control Joshua! of it. Stop this! Yeah, Tyler is dead. He's lost control! I have to do something! I have to save him! No, my lord! Fall back! Climb! The chocobo! Oh no! I think he's still fine. Just a headshot? No. Thank you, girl. You saved my life. Run. Please. This can't be complete sadness. Also, where's Torgal? The, the pup. Joshua, are you in pain? Ah! Uh, not now. How long have I have been having these? Or was it never Go before? Shield. Do your duty. My lord? Run. we saw oh my gosh oh who are you what a great game holy cow Same thing, embodying the phoenix. 
All right, fire, aim, evade. On your opponents directly within your sights, use the targeted. That's your time to fire.
dreams of rebirth. Like, hey, you want to see a movie? We got to do FF16. Oh, jeez. Oh, they meant the castle that they were staying in. Whoa! Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> they did that trooper so... Or the the stormtrooper, they did that troop so dirty. Oh. Man. He's still alive. There we go. How is that castle still standing? There isn't. But I thought it was his... I'm still trying to track, but I thought it was... No! I'm so confused. I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> Ooh, okay, I think that's a good stopping point. <laughs> I think we'll end episode one right there. <laughs> I there's just a lot to unpack there and I feel like I just need a few seconds to step away and come back because that was bloody and brutal and I wasn't expecting that um I also think it'd be fun to give you guys what I think is happening and again it's I have I just, hold on give me a second um I'll go straight into recording this next part for the next video but I think that's a good stopping point for today because it's been a long one. It's been a long one. Holy cow. I mean, I thought it was. So we saw the man in front of him that turned into it, which is different from Clive. But for some reason, part of me was like, man, is that Clive himself? Is that what's happening? And they were fighting like brother against brother. But I, I don't think that is, in fact, what was happening. But Joshua couldn't die this early. Like, there's no way that he could die this early. And I don't understand how that thing came back from the fight. He was clearly in the losing side of things and the Phoenix even resurrected like Joshua resurrected himself and came back and he still lost that somehow like that seems so unfair. But I do want to say that this whole like I can tell this is going to be one of my favorite games of the year. I know we meme whatever I'm playing. I've bad recency bias. So whatever I'm playing quickly becomes my favorite game. But I love all the detail that they put into this and it seems apparent that they do that for a lot of Final Fantasies. I can't speak for any other than FF7 Remake and this one, but the level of detail in the characters and the dialogue in those small, like, intricate um, kind of 
things that they've changed in the menu versus um you know automatically consuming potion when you've maxed it like all of these things add up to creating just one really it feels very modern it feels like a movie it feels modern and i think that i can see how this is either something you love or you hate and it depends on how much you like cutscenes. because if you're not a big cutscene person you're probably not going to enjoy this as much because it really just feels like this super interactive movie as of right now, I'm pretty sure the game will open up here soon and we'll be able to do side questing and it will be a little bit feel it will feel more like a game here soon. Um, initial thoughts and feelings. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck just happened to that last scene. But I do want to say it's so cool to see how we started with that and then it circled back to it. Um, so I think this is a good way to end it. I know it's a little bit of a <laughs> it's a cliffhanger, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough because it is going to be a long one. I am hoping to fully explore and just see this masterpiece that they have put together. So that's where my heart's at right now. Obviously things change, but as of right now, it is a 10 out of 10 incredible experience. It feels, I don't often actually get the chance to play newer games. I know that seems weird, but a lot of the games that I play on Twitch and even on here, I'm playing catch up from like 10 years ago plus, uh, plus some. So I think it's rare that I get to play a game the same year that it comes out. There's a few games that kind of make it through. Like I play Jedi Survivor as well, but it's cool to see the direction that games are going in as somebody that grew up playing games um and somebody who loves to throw myself into worlds like you will always see it i will always put my full heart and soul i can't always say my brain because sometimes i'm just not thinking when i'm playing a game but i am always feeling um what they've created and i i always try to see just how much has gone into creating like a work of art like this because my like as a kid i never thought that i'd see games be where they are today and so it just feels like i always say this a lot but it feels like an honor to get to play games as they are now as an adult and then also get to share my experience with you guys so with that thank you guys for watching and i hope i see you again in the next video and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this all right bye youtube It's so good. I love it. I have nothing bad. Just, I love it. Ah!